that was... That was something. This is the most insane game one I've ever seen. They both should be dead. Also, I know nothing about this matchup, so, um, don't expect any insightful commentary. Feel free to ask me anything, chat. I'll talk about when I see really good things happening on the screen, but, yeah, I don't know. I actually don't know anything about this game. I just push buttons. I don't like that walling back air that Hemp's doing. I feel like it's way too easily easily punishable. Each can just CC it, so it'll be weak by the time it hits. Hey, Wally didn't die this time. Crazy. Go. Oh. God, I love dash attack. Oh no, that is tragic. That was... That was a tragedy. Michael, how do you feel about that? Thank you. Michael also says it was tragic. Mike, when are you releasing another Halo YouTube video? When are you releasing another Halo YouTube video? When will that be? Who am I reading? Rooting for in Summit? Uh, LSD and Zane and Mango. Just because we love when Mango wins. Um. I don't really have an attachment to any of the other players going. I, it would be really cool to see Pip, uh, Pip Squeak do really well. I think Pip Squeak is really sick. S2J's uh, not in Summit, I forgot. I was going to say I would be rooting for S2J, but he's not going. I would be rooting for uh, Mewtwo King if he went, though. If he still played this game. Who do I think can realistically beat Zane? Mango. Wizard. Axe. Uh, I think Amza's going. Amza. Dude, Pudgy. If M2K does that, I'm easily being a Patrick main, and I'm going to just write the Mewtwo King Bible and follow everything that he says about Patrick. I'm so hyped for this stupid uh, Nickelodeon fighting game. Yingling gonna fuck Zane up. You just got ratioed by Air Yingling. Oh, there goes my monitor. Oh, my monitor's back. Welcome back, stream. It's brighter this time, too. Alright, this could be a hemp moment. I 
I really don't agree with these back airs at lower percents. I just want to play Danny Fountain and yell Go and Ghost in front of my opponent. What do you think your opponent would do? Nope, that was... Against Midwest Melee, Danny Phantom. Fun fact, I played that guy at uh, Smash and Splash. It was sad. Oh my god. You can see Mont Money shaking his head in the back of the camera. That's Fox Main, probably not happy to see that. Get scared because I'm a ghost, uh. Dude, Pudgy, I just I don't know why I didn't think of that. I'm so sorry. What makes Zane so dominant against box players? Um, the positioning, he puts himself, like, relative to him and the Fox player, where he puts himself on stage is usually really advantageous. Um, and Fox players have to work really hard to, uh, circumvent, like, Zane's neutral positioning, at least from what I've seen. And then obviously, he just has a death touch, like, if your punish game is refined enough against Spacey, every Spacey is just, you know, they'll die in your hands. Or what Pudgy said, his skill on the Fox player's lack of skill. He really tried to do it to him. Oh, that's it. 